Hi everybody, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back today with a genius hack. <laughs> now I've got to say a big thank you to Sue Popplewell. She was my uh, lovely crafty friend who, you know, showed me this idea and I absolutely love it. So I've got a wooden stamp set and um, I just took the stamp off. I can remount it later onto some mountain foam so I haven't wasted the stamp. I've just took some sandpaper here and I'm just sanding it down. I'm not going to worry about the sort of sticky part that's underneath um, because we're going to be covering it anyway. So I'm not worried about that. So just make sure you give it a good sand down, particularly if you want to paint it, which is what I'm going to do. OK, so that's that done. I've got some sort of pink chalk paint here. Of course, you can use whatever you like. You don't even have to paint it. You could just leave it plain if you wanted to. So I just cover that and I end up putting two coats on it all together. Um, I just wanted to make it, you know, look a little bit more sort of jazzier, I suppose, if that's the word. <laughs> but you do whatever you want to yours and it doesn't have to be the same size as mine it can be a bigger sort of wooden block if you've got one so I let that dry for a little bit it doesn't take long because it's only chalk paint and you can see me now I'm just popping the second coat onto it so really simple to do and I'm actually quite impressed with it when it's finished. Okay, so I've got a pencil and I've just marked a little dot where I think is the middle of the block. Now, I took a drill and all I'm doing is just drilling a small hole in the middle of the block. Um, I'm quite happy to do this. If you're not, you could maybe get, you know, your partner or whoever to do it for you. Um, it wasn't hard. It didn't take long. I think I was just more conscious of not drilling a hole in the middle of the table. <laughs> so I probably fiddled around, you know, because I was worried about drilling a hole all the way through the table. It, I mean, it wouldn't have happened, but, you know, I just thought, hmm. So I drill a hole in there. And we're going to pop a fancy sort of crystal handle in it. Now, I don't want the screw head to sort of show through the other side. So here you just see me sanding off the little bits of sawdust that have stuck to that sticky part where the stamp was. So the next there, there's the handle that we're using just a little cheap crystal knob you can get them on ebay for a couple of pounds um obviously i don't want the screw head to be sticking through so you need something called a countersink drill bit you can see here i picked up a set from a hardware store for a couple of pound really easy you just pop them in your drill like a regular drill bit and it just sort of you know, cuts out a sort of round recess so that when you pop your screw in, the head of the screw will sink in and, you know, you won't be able to see it or feel it from the other side. So I'm just getting that all in there and ready to make the little sort of sunken hole, if you like. And I'm going to show you here, it leaves just like a sort of, you know, a recess for the screw head. So I decided to jazz my block up a bit more. I took some Sizzix adhesive, 3D adhesive and some copper foil. And I'm just going to brush on the 3D adhesive just randomly. Um, you need to let it go clear before you then rub your foil on. But you can use whatever you want to decorate yours. You could even use some air dry clay and little embellishments. You could make your own and glue them on. You might decide to maybe stamp some, you know, little images on it or 
just leave it plain. You know, the choice is totally yours. So as I said, I chose copper foil and I'm just rubbing it onto where I've had the 3D adhesive and I just thought it looked a little bit different, that was all, rather than just having a plain one or a, a plain black one because obviously you can buy these like stamp and pressure tools but why bother when you can make your own and you know it turned out really nice and you will probably see me using this a lot in videos where I'm stamping because my I broke my right arm a few years ago um well my wrist actually and I have to say it's never been the same since you may have noticed in videos I have a couple of scars on my wrist I had to have some metal plates put in um and it does get sore and it's quite hard for me to keep pressing down actually so this will be perfect so I'm now popping the screw and the little handle in um, really really easy now what I've used next is that stuff that you get um, for like furniture like your sofa legs or chair legs to stop it like sort of ruining things or so it's easier to slide around on a floor and um, I got this from Amazon it comes in a big strip it's got adhesive on the back I just cut it to size but you could probably get these from the pound shop um, or like a home bargains or somewhere I got a big roll of it and um, cut it to size just peel the backing off you could maybe even use craft foam. It's just so it slides around on your stamping platform. Um, it turned out amazing. I'm going to show you here how it works. You just put your stamp in, press down and, you know, no more sore wrists. So try one. It's amazing. So I'll be back on Sunday. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.